Good day, my friend. It's Dr. Ray from the Fit Father Project and the Fit Mother Project. Welcome to today's video. A little bit ago, we published a video on the 10 worst foods that are killing your health and your weight loss and your energy. You can check that video out in the description, but today we're gonna flip that script and we're gonna get into the 10 best foods that you should eat for weight loss, energy, and health. Now you may be eating some of these foods, but I guarantee you're not eating all of them. And after this video, I want you to pick a couple of these and you're gonna know exactly how to incorporate these into your life. They're delicious, they're quick, and we're gonna have a lot of fun in today's video. Let's get into food number one. Food numero uno on our list is chia seeds. So these bad boys are amazing. If you turn to the back and you look at the nutrition stats, they are loaded with healthy fats. They have omega-3 fatty acids, those good omega-3s that are good for your heart and your brain and for weight loss and for insulin sensitivity. They're loaded with fiber and protein and they're so versatile. Here's how I incorporate these. If you make protein shakes or smoothies, you throw a couple tablespoons of these into your, into your smoothie and let it sit for a little bit in whatever kind of water or almond milk or whatever you have in there to let it gel up and then eat these things. One of the cool things about chia seeds is when they're soaking, they form a gel. And when that gel gets into your stomach, it keeps you full longer. So these things are like a calorie hack. Keeps you full, lots of good nutrients, lots of good fiber. Another way is you can actually make chia pudding. I make this all the time. So what I do is actually pour some chia seeds into a mason jar, fill it with some coconut milk, and then actually put a couple drops of stevia and it forms this delicious pudding that I often have for dessert. So many ways to get these into your life. Get more chia seeds, it'll help you lose weight. Food number two on our list, high quality eggs. We did it. So these bad boys are amazing. Eggs are so misunderstood because a lot of us were brought up thinking that eggs were terrible for our cholesterol levels, we're gonna hurt our health, and that was a part of that low fat movement Then, thankfully we've kind of moved past and we know we have the research that if you're having a couple eggs for breakfast, I'd say anywhere from one to three, it can actually help your heart health because eggs are nutrient powerhouses. The white has all the protein, as you may know, but the yolk is actually the really, really powerful part. It's loaded with fat soluble vitamins, vitamin D, A, E, K. It also has a really powerful nutrient called choline. It's one of the highest sources in the world of choline. And choline works in your brain to get you smarter, better memory, focus, and attention. And they found that people who eat eggs actually have better cholesterol patterns. They have these fluffier LDL cholesterols that are better for heart health. So I'm a huge fan. They're also good for your immune system. And what they found is actually for people who want to build muscle is the whole egg, the egg yolk plus the egg white together gives better muscle building benefits because there's just synergistic effect of these high quality eggs. Now, I keep on saying high quality. What does that actually mean? Well, that means it's ideally pasture raised. This means that the hen is open outdoor space. And what you're gonna be able to tell if whether it's high quality is that the yolk should be more orange, not this bright yellow. If it's orange, that's an it has all these powerful nutrients in there that you want in your body. So I'm a huge fan of eggs. I do it many ways. Oftentimes I'll make some scrambled eggs, loose scrambled eggs for my daughter. I'll get some couple sunny side up eggs for breakfast. I'll put a little bit of pesto on that. Sometimes I might even crack one or two of them raw. You can totally have raw eggs. A lot of the bad stuff is actually on the outer shell. If you wash that off, you can crack these bad boys. So Ryan, catch this egg and we're moving on to the next food on our list. Best weight loss food number three is the Mighty Avocado. This guy is amazing for health. It is like technically a fruit, which is cool, but people think of it as a vegetable. But what I love about it is you can have this with all sorts of your meals. Like you add avocado to your meal, your meal automatically gets healthier. Avocado is loaded with lots of healthy fats. We know these fats are super good for our heart health, for our joints, for our energy levels. It has fiber, it has protein. And there was recently a new study published specifically for weight loss that shows that avocados have a special nutrient that researchers are calling avocotin B. So avocotin B is super cool because it actually helps regulate blood sugar levels, increases insulin sensitivity, which makes all of your meals better. So if you have a meal that's normally gonna spike your blood sugar, you throw an avocado in there, it smooths everything everything out gives you sustained energy. Now, you can have a small avocado like this and have the whole thing. This thing has around 20 grams of fat. If you get one of those massive avocados, have about half of it. So around 15 to 20 grams of fat is a good serving for most people. Throw it on the side of your protein. So if you have a protein serving for dinner, fish, chicken, steak, whatever, throw some avocado on there. If you have a salad, sl slice some avocado up, put it on there. If you eat eggs in the morning, put some avocado on there. Super versatile. An avocado a day keeps the doctor away. At least that's what I say. Next food, let's get onto the list. All right, so best weight loss food number four on our list is green tip bananas. We did okay, Ryan. All right, so these guys 
bananas are so misunderstood. Did you know that? Misunderstood bananas. And they're a complicated fruit because they go through this profound aging process right in front of our eyes. And we know when a banana starts off, it's very green. And then as it ripens up, it starts to get more yellow and it eventually gets spotty and it eventually it gets so mottled and molded, it's like, it actually tastes alcoholic. It ferments into sugar alcohols. But when you catch a banana, when it's kind of like this, it's still got a lot of green here, maybe even a little more green, it is rich in the most powerful kind of fiber. It's called resistant starch. It is a kind of prebiotic fiber that your gut bacteria absolutely love. You eat this, it's a low glycemic food when it actually has the green tip. Your gut bacteria have a field day. And when your probiotics and your gut bacteria are loving it, it improves your weight loss, it improves your immune function, your body makes more neurotransmitters, and you just feel good. You take more regular poops, all that's great. So do not eat old model bananas. If it's got spots or it doesn't have a green tip, that's not for you. But get them when they have green tips. Another interesting banana fact, because we're talking about bananas, is bananas actually age each other. It's a really powerful process. Bananas actually release a gas called ethylene gas where they age each other. So if you get a whole bunch of green tip bananas at home and you don't want them to all turn like spotted all at once, bunch, pull them apart, spread them out a little bit and allow those guys to like stay good. And what I would say is like, I like to use bananas in post-workout smoothies or breakfast smoothies. A green tip banana in there is great for the fiber. It's a good snack on the road. You can even make a healthy dessert if you want. Get a green tip banana, slice that sucker up, put it in the freezer. Maybe it melts a little bit of organic dark chocolate on there. Just some ideas for you. Eat green tip bananas. Don't eat the bananas that are old and aged. That's gonna help improve your health. Let's get on to the next food on this list. Best health food number five to include is S fish. I'm talking about sardines. I'm talking about wild salmon. And I'm even mentioning some shell shellfish like oysters and even some scallops. Here's the deal. Seafood is powerful if it's the right kind. The wrong kind of seafood is the kind of seafood that's super high in mercury. So we're talking about like lots of kinds of tunas, grouper, snapper, swordfish, no, no, no. The mercury in these foods can get into your brain, it's neurotoxic, causes all sorts of health problems, but if you eat the right kinds of healthy fish, wild caught salmon, and again, I specifically brought up sardines, these guys are super low in mercury. They're really high in those omega-3 fatty acids that are so good for your heart and your brain, helps lubricate your skin and your joints, helps each of your cells work better, and this is so convenient. I mean, you wanna talk about a healthy, convenient meal? You don't have to do any cooking. You just grab sardines, this could be like like a grab and go lunch for you. If you put mustard or hot sauce on this, like that my palate loves it, yours may not, but like try this, try some more sardines, certainly some wild salmon. So some great dinner options that my family loves is baking some wild Alaskan salmon. We get some asparagus, we actually put the asparagus in the oven at the same time, drizzle some lemon on top of that sucker, and maybe we have some carbohydrate, like some quinoa or sweet potato, maybe a little avocado. An amazing meal for health and weight loss will keep you super full, good for those omega-3s. And there is so much research that actually eating fish is really, really beneficial for your health, as long as it's the right kinds, S fish, salmon, sardines, some shrimp as long as it's wild, and maybe some scallops on occasion. Let's move on to the next food on this list. Best food number six on our list is high quality grass fed beef. Now this is a food that is packed with tons of nutrients and beef can actually be beneficial in your diet. You may have noticed that there's a big trend going on right now where a lot of people are eating more carnivore and animal-based diets. My personal take is why limit? There's so many good plant foods and animal foods, but that's not to say that this stuff is not a nutrition powerhouse and can absolutely be good for your weight loss if you include red meat into your diet. Now, here's the cool thing. I actually have some grass-fed ancestral beef. This not only has grass-fed ground beef, but it also has some liver, some uh, heart, I believe, and maybe even a little kidney. So this is like a, a full organ blend and you can't even really tell when you're eating it. It's absolutely delicious, gives you a lot of nutrients. Now, regardless if you go into the whole organ town with me here, what I want you to know is that grass-fed meat is totally different than grain-fed and corn-fed meat. Grass-fed meat is much lower in calories. You eat grass-fed meat for the year, you're gonna save over 17,000 calories just because it's lower in fat. And the grass fed meat also has better kinds of healthier fats. It has things called CLA, which helps with weight loss. It's higher in antioxidants and the vitamins and the different nutrients in the meat. So when you are eating meat, your quality matters tremendously. So grass fed is good. Pasture raised is even better if they say that we have all the way through the cow's life cycle, it has been eating grass all the way through a natural diet. That's what's gonna be healthiest for you and your family. So you can have something like a ribeye steak on occasion. You can get some grass fed ground beef and make a taco night. You can make a burger. Burger. Lots of different ways you can incorporate this. One of the things that my mom's loving right now because she's eating a lot of these high quality meats is she takes an egg yolk and she puts it on top of a steak that she cooks that's like high quality grass fed and she eats nothing else. 
just a steak meal, like straight up. That can work for weight loss. It'll keep you full for a long time because I guarantee after you eat that steak, you're not gonna wanna eat for a long time. So maybe that's your dinner and you continue to fast until the next day, it's a possible strategy. You can include in the right amounts as long as it's high quality and grass-fed is super important. Let's get into the next food on this list. All right, so food number seven on our awesome foods list is organic blueberries. These guys are amazing and you probably know this. They're loaded with these special compounds called bioflavonoids. It's actually why they're blue is because they have these. These things are good for your cognitive health. Blueberries help with memory. They help with energy production. But as it relates to this video about weight loss, there was actually a recent study that showed that people who ate one cup of blueberries every single day for two weeks had a higher fat burning during exercise because blueberries actually upregulate some of our fat burning genes, let alone all the other benefits to your arteries, to your brain, to your, to your heart health. They're loaded with fiber, vitamins, minerals, and they taste delicious. So many ways to get blueberries into your diet. The wild blueberries are better. These are not wild. The blueberries are like the big juicy kind that you might find in a regular supermarket. If you can find wild blueberries, they're a lot smaller. They have greater concentrations of these amazing bioflavonoids. What I do is I buy frozen wild blueberries that are organic. I get them from Whole Foods and I put them into my smoothies. You can also get them and drizzle them onto a salad. You can also do them with a Greek yogurt for a snack. Get more blueberries into your life. You will be healthier for it. Do not be tricked into bleeding just because these things have some sugar in their fruit that they're bad for your health. These things will actually help you have greater insulin sensitivity and blood sugar balance over the long haul when you eat these powerful foods like blueberries. Let's get into the next food on this list. All right, so best weight loss food number eight on this list is nuts and seeds. So look at these bad boys. I have some pistachios, I have some walnuts. These things are raw, I buy them online, I store them in my freezer. Nuts are such an amazing food because they are super healthy for you. They're loaded with protein, they're loaded with healthy fats, they're loaded with fiber. You don't need to actually necessarily like refrigerate these things. You can take them anywhere when you're traveling, like when you're 3 p.m. and you're at work and you're starting to get hangry and you oftentimes either turn to bad snack foods or don't eat anything at all, nuts can be the savior there. You can have a portion of some pistachios and walnuts with an apple and boom you get tons of good nutrition you'll be full until dinner and it's just like a really natural good food so not surprisingly guess where i buy my nuts nuts.com not sponsored by them i just think they're great you can go on and get organic raw nuts and they can ship them to you and i just keep all these things in the freezer and what i've gotten the habit of recently doing I'll snack on pistachios, because let's be honest, they're delicious, or at least I think so. I'll throw some walnuts into a shake, which is really good. I get their macadamia nuts, which is a powerful nut. And I've been making some more pesto lately. I got a little basil growing in the garden. I pick that out, throw that in with some pine nuts and some olive oil and some salt and pepper. It's really good pesto that I use in different scenarios. So a couple different nuts. I want you to think about what nuts you're gonna incorporate. Now, you certainly don't have to have raw nuts. I think they're personally the healthiest. You could have cooked nuts, roasted nuts with salt of all different varieties. I would just watch and make sure that they're not added with any kind of weird vegetable oils and stuff like that. It's just straight up the nuts. And oftentimes when you have a bunch of these nuts that are loaded with all these crazy spices, like Blue Diamond is a brand that makes a lot of these almonds that are like Wasabi Blast, Barbecue Smokehouse 9000. Like those things are not the best ideal options because they have a bunch of preservatives, sodiums, food colorings and stuff like that. Just get regular old organic nuts, preferably raw, but your call. Let's get into the next food on this list. All right, best weight loss food number nine is beans and lentils. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. You know the rest of the song. It's true, and the reason is because beans have an amazing kind of soluble fiber. It's one of the most reliable foods possible for lowering your cholesterol, helping your gut bacteria give them this good fiber to work with, loaded with protein, low in fat, and this is the brand I love, Eden Organics. They actually pressure cook their beans to get rid of some of the lectins in them that are some of the damaging compounds that people are worried about. And this is like just so good. So what I do with beans and particularly black beans is like my go-to is I make chilies. You know, get some tomato paste, get some crushed tomatoes, throw it in pressure cooker with one of these big things of black beans, taco seasoning, spices, and you cook this sucker up. We have recipes inside our programs. You want all the specifics, but a power chili, great. You can add beans in any kind of like bowl you make. Beans could be a side dish on one of your dinners. If you wanna go with like a whole Mexican theme and you do some of that grass-fed ground beef, you can have some beans on the side with a little bit of avocado mashed into guacamole, lemon, salt, mash that avocado. Come on now, that's a delicious meal with all these great foods. So 
Get these in. I also want to do a shout out to lentils as well. Not a food many of us eat, but like lentils are super, super powerhouses. I have to make these Indian kind of dal lentils. So I get mung beans and I put them on the counter, the stove top in a pan with a little bit of water and I cook them until it gets really nice and soft. And then I throw a little bit of like grass fed butter in there. Man, with the spices and the stuff, it's really, really good. So explore lentils and sometimes try to make a dinner that's just using beans or lentils. It's gonna be really good for you to mix it up and not just do the same old thing every time. And there are a lot of great Indian recipes that have all these cores of lentils and peas. I recommend you check that out. Let's get into the final food on this list. And we're here, final food, best weight loss food number 10 is organic salad greens. So you go to the grocery store, today we have these pre-packaged, triple washed, organic greens, buy these things. When I go, I typically buy probably like three to four to five of these every time I go. Because like, this is your solution to getting more vegetables. You open this up, you take your hand like a crane, you stick it in, you pull out a glob, you drop it on your plate. And then you drizzle it with things like oh, hemp seeds, or some extra virgin olive oil, some salt pepper, maybe some crushed red pepper flakes, maybe some olives, and you make yourself a little salad. It takes two seconds to make. And the reason it's so good is these guys give you good of the kind of insoluble fiber. They're filled with lots of different kinds of vitamins and minerals. And you just get these organic sweet baby lettuces. I would caution you from crushing a bunch of organic baby spinach. You're gonna see more people these days talking about oxalates and different things in these foods that can maybe disrupt your GI tract. So I'm more of a fan of organic romaine, baby gem lettuce, baby sweet lettuces, and I make salads like these. My actual process is I take about half, if not a full one of these, if I want a huge salad for lunch, I put a bunch of hemp seeds on top, I put some sprouts, so I buy broccoli sprouts organic, throw those on there, I throw a bunch of olives, uh, I throw some nutritional yeast on there, drizzle some extra virgin olive oil, I may often make a dressing of my own with extra virgin olive oil, honey, and some other things, you get the idea. Make your own salad so good, you can top it with some hard boiled eggs, maybe with some protein on top, and you have a delicious meal for weight loss. It didn't take that much time, easy way to get your greens in. So, what a blast. We had some fun, we threw some foods, we learned some things. And what I wanna really bring together is you need to find your go-to healthy foods. And I think some of these on these lists are gonna be some of your go-to healthy foods. And when you find those, start to narrow in your mind down that you eat a smaller range of foods. You eat these go-to healthy foods that you love. You buy them, you start to experiment with them. And if you eat any of these foods on this list, your health is gonna improve. And when you are able to feel full and still satisfied, you stick with a diet, you're gonna lose more weight long-term. All these foods will help your blood sugar. All these foods are pretty much natural, non-processed. I didn't need to like read the label to tell you what it was. You saw that an avocado is an avocado, a banana is a banana. The grass-fed ground beef is obviously the ground beef. So these natural foods are gonna be the key to you losing weight. And if you want help like distilling this down into an exact done for you nutrition plan, join our programs. We have tens of thousands of people in our programs producing insane results like you see right here, mostly because they're eating our meal plan and the nutrition is just so good. So like check it out, join us and see how easy it can be to eat healthy. And if you're still not sure that you wanna dive all the way into our programs, we have some amazing free resources you can check out in the description as well. We have a free meal plan and a free workout. We can send your email. You can join our newsletter, get to know us even more because YouTube's great. Learning on videos like this is great. What's even better is a full transformational experience with me, with my coaches, with the rest of the community. I am inviting you now to join us. So thank you, my friend. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, actually hit the like thumbs up button. Like, please do it for me. It means so much. Helps this video spread across YouTube. More people need this health and fitness information. You know it, I know it. As well as comment below if you love any of these foods. If you have a homemade recipe with any of these foods you wanna share with us, we'd love to hear that. Or if you just like have a comment or you like how I'm growing out my hair and stuff like that, you know, just comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you, my friend. This is Dr. A signing off. I'll see you in future videos and I'll talk to you very soon.